Creativity and entrepreneurship drive the world's most prosperous businesses. From country to country, the creative process helps inspire and elevate startups to some of the world's most important global companies. Join us as we explore city to city how entrepreneurialism and creativity combine. Welcome to the Drums Creative Cities. Welcome to Seattle. The great city of Seattle is surrounded by nature. From the mountains to the water, Washington State's largest city has a fascinating history. However, it's the current progress that looks set to be a game changer. Globally recognized for its music history, Seattle is also the base for some of the world's most influential companies. As a result, it's no surprise that thousands of people are relocating from all over the world to call the Emerald City home. The Drum chose to explore just what's going on in Seattle that's leading to a big surge in relocation and learn about the flourishing creative spirits that are spread right across the city. We visit Pike Place Market, where thousands of tourists visit each day, the unique landmark that is the Space Needle, and we spoke to individuals who are contributing to the dynamic, entrepreneurial, corporate, and creative culture and its undeniably progressive nature. But how is that entrepreneurial spirit inspired and cultivated? Seattle's entrepreneurial spirit is always changing. It's always adapting to the times and to the challenges at hand. To define the entrepreneurial spirit of Seattle is quite difficult because it does span a lot of different industries. However, I think there are some things that really stand out that make Seattle quite unique when it comes to the entrepreneurial talent that's grown up here. Uh, first off, I'd say uh, people here think big. Uh, they think a little bit outside of the box. Uh, they're not afraid to tackle really big problems. And so that's why you've seen some of the companies that uh, have grown up here and have met with success uh, that have really taken years to get to their, to their successful outcome. You don't see as many overnight smashing successes like you do in Silicon Valley. Things tend to grow up over long periods of time. Um, and you see that in companies like uh, Concur, for example, which sold to SAP for over $8 billion. But that was a company that had many, many ups and downs, almost was written off for dead, but it had a very successful comeback and really kind of reinvented uh, software as a service. Uh, but you see more stories like that in Seattle, where companies have been around the block a few times, they've had a few knocks, but then they kind of figure out their way to, uh, to find uh, success. So you don't see as many kind of overnight uh, sensations. There aren't as many uh, Instagram style uh, mergers and acquisitions that happen here where it's two years to a really huge outcome. Uh, but uh, you do see this kind of longer term success. And as I said, people and entrepreneurs who are thinking about tackling really big problems. You know, I don't want to really blow Seattle's horn too much, but we tend to be a little bit more authentic because we want to be our own selves. We want to do things that we're really interested in. When you go down to San Francisco, especially in Silicon Valley, there are a lot of divas there. There's a lot of me, 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 big ego, right? If you look at like New York, there's a lot of individualism there. People want to be noticed. And so there's pressure and stress to be different and unique and weird. Whereas here, there's not that pressure. Like people ignore Seattle and the Northwest in general. So we get to do what we want to do just because we want to do it. And so in that sense of like, you know, comparison, if you're interested in doing something that is really something you're passionate about, something that makes a difference, something you want to geek out about, this is a great place for it. It's got deep roots, got great talent, and it gives you the space to do what you want to do. If you want to be in a market that's kind of like fame and money in that, Silicon Valley, New York, other places, those are good places to go. I think Seattle really kind of has its own style, especially when it comes to the technology community, and really is proud of that, that history and, and types of organizations that have grown up here. So we know that business is booming in Seattle. But how is that entrepreneurial spirit the city talks about so openly helping the growth of global corporations? And what is so different about their culture? There are so many things that make Seattle really desirable for corporations to come here and set up shop. But really the biggest one is we have this incredibly rich talent pool 
And while we may compete for talent between the companies, everybody in Seattle really recognizes that when one company wins, we all win. The city wins, the entire population wins, and that, it, that just makes the talent pool better and better every year. I think that Seattle has always been a, a boom and bust city for many years from our start 150 years ago. We're the ultimate city for uh, product placement around the world. If you look at a Boeing aircraft, the thousands of planes in the air, uh, Starbucks around the world, Windows through Microsoft everywhere, or Amazon, you, you name it, you keep going. Every day around the world in every country, there's a little piece of Seattle, and it's part of our job at Visit Seattle to try to connect the dots on that and tell that story when it makes sense from a travel and tourism perspective. So there's a lot of, a lot of us out there. I think um, there's this weird combination of sort of casual intensity where the lifestyle and the dress and the appearance of everything is very casual and laid back, but the scope and scale and intensity and impact of the work is still really big. So it's a weird combination. Elsewhere, there's a real energy within the city, which has an unmistakably welcoming vibe with people and companies who openly collaborate and talk to one another to support their artistic and entrepreneurial aspirations. There's a feeling of confidence and success without losing the casual, laid-back feeling Seattle is proud of. But what is the culture of Seattle taking beyond its borders? If you ask people abroad what Seattle is famous for, they'll often mention Boeing airplanes, or Starbucks coffee, or Seattle music. But there are secondary ways that Seattle is influencing the world. For instance, much of global healthcare is being driven by the Program for Appropriate Technologies in Health, PATH, here in Seattle, that seeks to take medical technologies and export them to third world countries in inexpensive ways. These planes that are flying over us, if they're Alaska planes, they're being powered by biodiesel fuel that was developed at Washington State University on the other side of the mountain. And if we think about philanthropy, the thinking leader in the world is the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which is just two miles up the hill from us here. One of my favorite parts of the Seattle culture is our underdog spirit. I mean, there's a reason that we won the Super Bowl is because everyone told us that we couldn't. And that's how it is for all of us. And we were founded as the city, it was a stopover to get clothes and stuff on the way to the gold rush. Uh, and we actually like want to be noticed and we want to matter and as a result, there's a creativity and, a, and an energy here of wanting to change the world and wanting our voices to matter uh, in this way that I find super endearing and one of my favorite parts of this town. What this town is doing uh, as far as changing the lives of the entire world and people in need and people who are sick and people who need help. Uh, this little town in the corner of the country is leading the world in how we think about caring for other people. And gosh, I just love that. Uh, Seattle's influence is vast. I mean, uh, all the way from, from coffee to technology to uh, being the leading edge in, in medical sciences and especially art. You know, like Seattle's the place where science and art come together to create a very unique environment, a very unique culture for not just the, the Puget Sound or this region, but the world. I would say uh, Macklemore probably is the, the biggest artist that's making a cultural impact on the, uh, the big stage right now. Um, and even if you look back in time, Pearl Jam and Soundgarden and, you know, and myself, that's where I said it. <laughs> so what do we point to here in Seattle that represents our progressiveness and, and creativity? I think that it's probably easiest to look at uh, music. And, and it's obvious, uh, it's an easy one with uh, grunge and Pearl Jam, Nirvana, and uh, the presidents in that era, but uh, Sir Mix-a-Lot is here, Heart is here. Seattle music has been uh, world famous for years. Uh, Odessa now, I and mean, it just doesn't stop. And, and we're incredibly supportive of our music, and, uh, and it's meant a lot to this city because we just want to go out and, and watch people accomplishing what they want to do, which is have a good time with uh, music and their instruments. And what of the creative heart of the city? How is that evolving as the city grows? We spoke to a number of people working in different sectors, from graphic novels, advertising, food, and music, to discover just how Seattle has inspired and supported them in their careers. Seattle is a special city on the cusp of a significant gear shift, 
a city of coffee, creativity, and career opportunities still to come. What represents the creative culture or the start of it? I look to the Space Needle. You know, in 1962, the World's Fair was here, and that was, I think, the spark of a lot of innovation, um, showing off our city, the monorail was built, the Space Needle, and more. And I think from that, there's been many companies like Amazon, Boeing, Starbucks, Microsoft that have been launched here that have sparked, I think, a lot of innovative thinking and future thinking. Um, I have a huge, uh, I guess, inspiration from those leaders that not only wanted to influence what was happening at today or at that time, but also really looking to the future and how they could change the world. The city celebrates creativity in several different ways and um, I think enables this culture through uh, Seattle Film Festival. There's Bumper Shoot, which happens every day, every Labor Day weekend. It's music, um, a big party for three days that's coming together and highlighting artists, young and old, um, to the Seattle Addy Awards, which is a local um, chapter and focused on celebrating the agencies and the great work that clients and agencies are doing. We have a radio station in Seattle called KEXP. It's like a, a community-funded radio station, um, and it's an incredible, uh, it adds an like, incredible amount of opportunities for local bands. So. I mean, our band probably would never have been heard in the first place if it wasn't for KAXP. Um, they, you know, they, they gave us radio play. We immediately, people started coming to the shows, and it, it just kind of grew from there. KAXP kind of fosters a community within local bands, because we do a lot of events with them, and we put, end up playing with a lot of other local bands, so get to know people, and yeah. It's a really cool thing to have that a lot of other cities might not have. There are things both big and small that represent the progressiveness of Seattle and the creative spirit of Seattle. You see it in big brands like Microsoft and Amazon and Starbucks and how people interact with these large global brands that have reinvented their categories every day. But you also see it from brands like KEXP that was a university funded radio station that became the first global streaming radio station in the world. And many musicians would tell you they're still the hallmark of breaking into a big music scene. You have brands like Sub Pop that took grunge from being a sound and made it a movement. And those are big hallmark occasions that represent the progressive spirit of this city, but also the creative spirit of this city. You also see it in small, intimate ways here. There are rainbow crosswalks that were painted in Capitol Hill to celebrate the LGBT community here. You see the Urban Alley Project that is reinvigorating urban alleyways and creating them as community spaces with lights and places for people to gather. I think those little things represent creative thinking all over the place that is meant to drive home being a progressive city and wanting to create different kinds of communities and different kinds of environments for people. I think Seattle's progressiveness attracts great talent because it is a city for people who want to play by different rules. This is a city that embraces curiosity, has an inherent appetite for risk, and I think in a lot of ways that attracts not only young people, but it also attracts people who have spent the majority of their career in maybe bigger established environments, and they want to try something new. I always tell people that we're recruiting here that this is a place you can come and make history. You can create change in this city, whether it's in your exact job or other organizations you get involved in. This is a city that wants to make a difference in the world, and that's attractive to a lot of people. Seattle is attracting more and more good talent, um, and I think it's a lifestyle thing. Uh, I think a lot of people, A, want to work for uh, companies remotely, they can do that from here and work for other companies remotely, whether it's agencies or in-house somewhere else. I do think there are just more jobs and more really good paying jobs, and you have to have money to attract top talent from other parts of the country. Yeah, the cost of living is still a little bit cheaper than, say, San Francisco and New York, but it's moving up pretty fast. So to attract talent, you have to have money because they have to be able to afford it here. This is becoming an international city before our eyes. Uh, there's actually a lot more people making comics here than there were 20, 25 years ago. Um, the city's grown, it's become more of a tech city, uh, which makes it a little harder for artists to live here, I think. But um, the tech has also created more opportunity. Um, the city has developed, there's more to do. 
Um, that's, you know, there's pros and cons to it, but um, it's still the place I want to live the most. I think the Seattle spirit sparks creativity. Um, you know, in a lot of ways, it's just look, a, look around us. Um, there's expansiveness of the mountains. There's wide open blue sky all the time. Um, everything feels open and, and expansive enough for us to really think in a way that's, that's big. Um, how can you not be creative in an environment like that? Creativity at the core is really just about thinking in a different way. And what's great about Seattle and the spirit here is that everywhere you look, people have disrupted the status quo. Howard Schultz, Bill Gates, you know, Jeff Bezos. They're, they've done something creative even though you wouldn't necessarily consider their fields creative ones. And when Seattle has that deep in its veins and has been going on for so long, it's pretty difficult for it not to sort of influence everything, um, including the advertising industry. People come to Seattle because of the expansiveness of the environment, but also because of, of what's happened here before and how important that spirit is to, to the kinds of thinking that we have to apply to our, to our brands. We might be a little city, but I think we play on a national stage, on an international stage. And um, I don't care who you are in this country, at some point you're gonna run into us along your day, whether you're waking up with a cup of coffee or maybe you flew home on one of our planes or using our software, you're just gonna buy a piece of clothing at Nordstrom or it's a, it's a city that punches way above its weight class and it's a city that is proud of what it does and what it puts out there and I think it's a place that just engenders this sort of spirit of creativity and this idea that uh, we're going to make good things and we're going to send them out into the world and see what happens. Here is a city experiencing homemade prosperity where people visit and move to with the promise of employment and a lifestyle that few other cities in America and the world can offer. Seattle, known as the Emerald City, but can assuredly expect its future to be nothing but golden.